We don't like to talk much about prisons, but maybe it's time that we did. The fact is, America is a prison nation. We incarcerate more people than any nation in the world. In fact, we imprison more people than any nation in the history of the world. The U.S. correction complex is enormous. More than 2.4 million people are currently incarcerated in American prisons. That's more than one in 100 American adults. But our correctional system is not just huge. It is also astonishingly expensive. In 2008, federal, state, and local governments spent more than $74 billion on corrections. In the same year, states spent more than $47 billion of their general funds on prisons. That's a shocking 7% of all state discretionary spending. Of course, it isn't really just about money, and the true cost of corrections go far beyond direct spending on prisons. Spending on corrections is crowding out spending on other things that we want and need. At least 10 states already spend more on corrections than they do on higher education. And the fact is, every dollar we spend on a prison is a dollar that we can't spend on schools or on infrastructure or on public health. And the worst part is that our correctional system just isn't working that well, and it's not delivering the outcomes that Americans want. Americans want our prisons to rehabilitate inmates and, if possible, release them back into society as productive and law-abiding citizens. A recent Zogby poll shows that 87% of the U.S. voting public supports inmate rehabilitation. But U.S. rates of recidivism remain among the worst in the world. For instance, of the more than 700,000 inmates who will be released from U.S. prisons this year, more than 40% will reoffend and be back in prison within just three years. We have a serious problem on our hands, a big, expensive correctional system that's growing rapidly, straining our resources, and not giving Americans what they want. We can't go on like this. Something has to change. So here's the $74 billion question. What can we do to make things better? And here's the good news. We already know what to do, and it starts with education. More than 50 years of research in the social sciences proves that education and rehabilitation just plain work. Studies show that earning a high school diploma while in prison cuts recidivism by 33%. Job training and job placement cut recidivism by nearly 60%. Drug, alcohol, and anger management programs change and sometimes save lives. So wait a second. If we've known all along what works, why haven't we done it? Well, up until now, we haven't had a safe and affordable way to deliver education and rehabilitation programs to the huge numbers of inmates who need them. And a big part of the reason is that today, inmates have almost no access to technology. And without technology, prisons have no scalable way to provide the programs we know would help. That's pretty amazing, right? In the last 30 years, the digital revolution has improved almost every facet of our lives from travel to medicine to communications to education. And yet, to date, no one has brought the transformative power of technology to bear on the urgent problems of our prison system. At APDS, we're about to change all of that for good. Recent advances in tablet-based computing and mobile device management now make it possible to safely and economically bring technology into America's prisons. APDS will lead the digital revolution in corrections by leveraging this powerful new technology to help make prisons safer, less costly, and more effective at delivering the results we all want. How are we going to do it? Glad you asked. We'll start by delivering effective education and rehabilitation programs to inmates via our secure Android tablets. We've teamed up with the leaders in online education to teach inmates to read, how to speak English, how to get and keep a job, and how to overcome the addictions and behaviors that led them to prisons in the first place. In short, we'll deliver precisely the kind of programs proven to improve outcomes and change lives for the better. APDS tablet technology will do tons of other great things too. For instance, research shows that when inmates stay in touch with the people who love them on the outside, they behave better in prison and are more likely to succeed when released. So our tablets will help inmates maintain and strengthen positive relationships with their family members via new digital modes of communication. Our secure inmate email system will provide inmates and their families with more convenient and less expensive ways to stay in touch, 
while simultaneously making prisons safer and less costly to run. APDS technology will help improve prison safety and cut costs in other ways, too. By replacing hard copy recreational libraries with ebooks and old fashioned legal libraries with digital equivalents, will help make progress towards a paperless prison cell, eliminating places to hide contraband while at the same time giving inmates access to more and better resources. Better yet, these improved resources are actually cheaper for prisons to provide. So, okay, fixing American corrections is going to be a big job. But we know what to do, and we have powerful new tools and promising ideas about how to make things better. So now, let's get started. Let's work together to make it happen.